During their discourse, Honorable Alfred Prosper and His Excellency Tatsuo Hiriyama discussed areas in which St. Lucia and Japan can collaborate to develop St. Lucia's agriculture sector. Minister Prosper gave a brief update on the current state of St. Lucia's agricultural industry as it relates to climate change and the COVID-19 pandemic. He also expressed his hope for the continuation of knowledge transfer through training with the aim of improving St. Lucia's agricultural practices. Your government has given tremendous assistance to our fishermen mm -hmm. in terms of construction of a fish, mm -hmm. fishing port, mm -hmm. which is really facilitating the packing of the boats and mm -hmm. placement of or construction of mm -hmm. a number of other facilities that mm -hmm. are critical to our fishermen. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage, say to you that we want to continue the collaboration mm -hmm. between St. Lucia, the government of St. Lucia mm -hmm. and your government mm -hmm. and to continue to work with you mm -hmm. in terms of collaboration and to continue giving us the support mm -hmm. that you have you began many, many decades ago mm -hmm. to assist us in the agricultural sector. His Excellency Tatsuo Hiriyama reaffirms Japan's commitment to continue supporting the agriculture industry in St. Lucia. Is the fisheries and the disaster risk management and climate change are uh, uh, two of the most uh, uh, important uh, priority areas uh, for our cooperation with the uh, uh, Caribbean countries. So I'm very glad to uh, work, continue to work with your government and particularly with your minister to enhance our cooperation and friendship. Japan and St. Lucia established diplomatic ties in 1980. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.